Hey I'm Max and I've made games using plenty of game engines and tools, but since I used to play Minecraft when I was younger, I started wondering how Minecraft modding can be used to make games. I remember playing Minecraft mods when I was younger and really enjoying them. Today I'm going to try to make my first Minecraft mod and see if the result is good. I've actually been working for a couple months on my own voxel engine too, so I'm wondering how Minecraft will compare to it. I believe mine is way more optimized and better looking, but it lacks a lot of features that Minecraft has. I hope I make up for it though in my engine with the epic destruction. <laughs> anyway, it's time to test out Minecraft modding and see if it's good. The first step is to download the forge code thingies and then run forge with it. Thankfully it comes with an example mod which has a new block already. Wow, that's so cool. Let's place it. What the f Okay, I have no idea how any of this works, so the obvious thing to do is to watch tutorials. Wait a minute. That's hours of videos. I ain't watching all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, I decided to dig through the code and figure things out by myself, so it took way longer. Big brain. After a lot of messing around, I managed to make my own custom item. Metal. But it's not a block you can place, instead it's an item you can eat. When you eat it, you get heavy metal poisoning, which makes you very sick. You also get heavier because you ate metal, so you fall down faster and you can no longer jump as high as before. I'm not quite sure how useful this would be for actual gameplay, but uh, it's there if you want it. <laughs> Next I added the item.exampleMod.epicsword, which is a red sword. Huh? Pretty epic if you ask me. If you right click with it, it shoots an egg. That egg is also very buggy and somehow bounces on surfaces instead of breaking and it also keeps teleporting back to where it launched from. Honestly, I'm not even sure how I did this, but I gotta say, that is an excellent sword ability. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have so many bugs if I followed tutorials instead of trying random things and hoping they work. But oh well, that's how I do things. I prefer to blame Minecraft for the bugs. Damn Minecraft, why are the eggs bugged? What did you do? Hey. You did that, not me. To be fair though, Minecraft really doesn't help me because every time I google something, what I find is outdated. Do they change the entire code every update? I swear I find some posts that are only a few months old and the code already doesn't work anymore. Anyway, I don't really want eggs so whatever, I'll just do something else. <laughs> Since I've been watching One Piece a lot, I wanted to make a sword that sends a slash forward that does a lot of damage like we see some characters do, so I started working on that. First, I made a sword that sends a fireball forward on slash. Not bad, but not quite what I wanted. It's pretty cool to increase the radius and see the damage though. I guess it could be a cool power, but it doesn't really fit the sword slash. Why would a sword send a fireball? That doesn't make any sense. So instead I make my own custom entity which looks exactly like a fireball. <laughs> yeah, cause that makes sense. See, but mine is cooler because it doesn't collide with anything, so then I can write code to make it so when that fireball goes over a block, it creates an explosion but it keeps going, just reducing the power until eventually it runs out of power. This makes it create a long line of destruction where the radius of the blast goes down over the distance, making it look way cooler in my opinion. Then I only had to spawn a few of them in the shape of a slash like we see in the anime and send that line down to destroy things. It looked really cool. It can slash through a whole mountain or shave off a good bit of the surface. And it actually feels really good to use. Smack the lip. Job done. Imagine having this sword in survival, you could dig a whole mine in one swing. I'm sure I would have loved to have that as a mod when I was a kid. <laughs> While I'm on the team of One Piece, why not add some more One Piece powers to my mod? First and probably the easiest is the observation hacky. When it is enabled, every entity gets the glow effect so you can see them through blocks. Maybe I can use this power to find... Uh... My will to live? <laughs> F 
then you can use that to even shoot them from far away through everything using the sword. Now that's a lot of damage! I also added an item that when you use it, all entities nearby take damage. That's really OP and makes no sense, but it's kinda cool. I guess my inspiration was the Conqueror's Haki, but <laughs> it's not exactly the same. I also added an enchant that you put on your boots to make it so when you punch enemies, they catch on fire. How does that make sense? Well, it doesn't really, but who cares, it's epic. I can just punch mob and they catch on fire. What else can you want? Well, actually, I know what else I would want, a grapple hook. What is cooler than a grapple hook? Nothing. I wanted to add one, but I had no idea how to do custom graphics like a rope. So what did I do? Well, I added it anyway, but without any graphics. It's pretty hard to control and you don't see anything, so it's kinda hard to know what you hooked onto. But it still works and lets you move around pretty fast and pull yourself up from caves, so I like it. Combined with all the other powers, you end up pretty strong and it's pretty fun to use them. You can grapple around, shoot your sword to dig huge holes, use the Conqueror's Haki to defeat any enemies nearby, as well as the Observation one to see them. It's the kind of OP mod I would have loved as a kid when I used to play, even though it kinda ruins the point of the game. <laughs> so in conclusion, is Minecraft modding good to make games? Is it better than a classic game engine like Unity and Unreal? The short answer is no. The long answer is maybe? I guess it depends on what you want to do. If you want to make a first person game where you explore, collect things, use them to craft items and fight against enemies in random worlds, then yeah, making a forge mod will allow you to skip a lot of the basic work. You will already have the world generation, the enemies, the items, crafting, enchants and even more. It's a big base given to you that you can use to build anything on it. But if you want to make something like a platformer in a set map without any items or crafting, then what's the point? You could still make a Minecraft mod, but you would use almost nothing from the game. You might as well make the game from scratch in an engine at this point. Still, I was surprised by how much Minecraft can handle. It has definitely improved a lot since the last time I played it as a kid, and the modding tools are pretty easy to use to make the things that you want. So making Minecraft mods could still be good beginner projects for anyone wanting to get into programming or game dev. Also, after testing out Forge mod, I gotta say, I still think my Voxel engine is better than the Forge mod because of how much freedom it gives me. But it definitely takes a lot more effort to do than a Forge mod, so I understand that not everyone wants to do that. <laughs> By the way, feel free to check out my videos on my Voxel engine and game if you're interested in that. It's actually not that similar to Minecraft, but I guess the voxel style is similar. I'm currently adding a boss and cool powers to fight him.